Welcome to our video series on Mastering FTP. In this video we'll discuss using Change Mode or CHMOD. One concept that's important to understand is when it comes to navigating files and folders on your website and navigating files and folders on your computer, this is where they differ. This is the functionality of Change Mode, which is actually spelled CHMOD or CHMOD. That actually stands for Change Mode, and what it means, essentially, and this is only applicable on Apache web servers, but Apache web servers are incredibly popular, and I believe that at this time they have the majority of the server market. If it's helpful at all to think of it this way, Change Mode is basically the same as Attributes in Windows. In the Windows system, for example, files can have attributes such as Read Only, or Archive, or To Archive, and so on. These are the different attributes of a file that tells the operating system some useful information about them. For example, Read Only is self-explanatory. You can only read the file but can't make any changes to it. So Change Mode is essentially attributes in Apache, but presented in a less friendly way, but actually with many more options. Day-to-day -day FTP usage wouldn't normally involve Change Mode, but if you're installing scripts or dealing with scripts of any kind, you need to understand Change Mode and sometimes start using it. And really, it's as simple as this. You just follow the instructions on the scripts that you're installing or working with, and the scripts may say Change Mode or CHMOD, CHMOD, the test folder to 755. So, okay, you would go to the test folder, you would select the test folder, right click, choose Properties, and just change the CHMOD value. Here it's already 755. The values range from 777, which is everything selected, so you see attributes, owner can read, write, execute, group can read, write, execute, everyone can read, write, execute. You don't really need to understand what this means when installing and working with scripts. You can just type in the value instead of clicking the boxes if you wish. So ch mod of 777 is everything ticked, and if we delete that and type in 666, you see that it makes immediate changes to what's ticked and what isn't. If we now change this to 606, you see what happens. So basically, all it's doing is installing a script and it tells you chmod this folder or these files to value whatever. That's all you need to do. And when you've made the changes, just OK them. And that's it. You've changed the attributes of that folder or that file or whatever it is that you're asked to change. As I mentioned, you wouldn't really deal with it unless you're installing scripts, but it is useful to know. It's quite a straightforward concept. But if you prefer not to deal with that when dealing with scripts, you can, of course, hire people very inexpensively to install scripts for you or make changes in scripts for you on your server. 